Okay, let's look at another refraction equation by using the same diagram. Just a little bit of explanation before we start. We see a wave coming in with a velocity vi on the incident side and it refracts in the glass as it slows down and moves off with a velocity vr as shown by those red lines which are 90 degrees to the wave crests. We need to construct a normal line right where the two red lines meet the surface so we can measure some angles. The angle of incidence would be the angle right between the red and the green line at the top and we're going to label that I. Similarly we're going to label the angle of refraction with a small r in between the green line and the refracted wave direction. Now I also want to highlight two similar triangles the small one in green that we see on the inside and the larger one BDAB on the outside. Those two triangles are in fact similar making angle I and theta A the same. So I is equal to theta A in our diagram. Similarly on the bottom angle R will be equal to theta G. Now let's continue on by simplifying our diagram and getting rid of all the clutter. We want to focus on two triangles that share the same hypotenuse. One on the air side, triangle ABDA, and one on the glass side, triangle DCAD. They both share the common hypotenuse which is labeled with that red H. Now using some basic tri trigonometry we see that the sine of angle I is opposite which is lambda I over hypotenuse, the red H. Similarly the sine of angle R will be lambda R over H and what we want to do is rewrite these equations solving for H as shown on the screen and then set them equal to each other. So we get lambda I over sine I is equal to lambda R over sine R. The more common version of this equation is to rewrite it one more time, getting all the signs on one side and all the wavelengths on the other as shown.